Hey everybody, RetroPie guy here. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate how save and load states work in RetroPie. So this is what we would do if we wanna save the progress of a game and load it in at a later date. So if we're in a gameplay here and we wanna save our game, we're gonna actually hit the select button and the right shoulder button at the same time. So if we push both of these buttons together, we get what's called a save state and it saves our game exactly where we are when we do this. So then we can exit our game, we can go back to it at a later date, and to do a load state and pick up exactly where we left off, we're gonna hit select and the left shoulder button, again, at the exact same time, and our screen will automatically transport us right back to where we had left off when we did that original save state. So it's a super easy process. Now there is another way to do this as well through RetroArch, so today I'm gonna to demonstrate both ways of doing this. So let's go into Super Nintendo and play Super Mario and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game for just a few seconds and I'll show you the exact spot where I save the game and then we'll exit it, reopen the game and I'll show you exactly where we load in. All right, so I'm just pausing this for a second here. I'm gonna do my save state right here on top of this tube. So I'm gonna unpause my game and do my save state, again, by hitting the right shoulder and select at the same time. Now we'll see in the bottom left corner, our save state gives us a confirmation message. So you can see that save state in the corner there. So now we're gonna exit the game and we'll do a load state and we'll see that we come back to this exact same spot here. We're gonna go right back into the same game. And this is the exact same process regardless of which game or game collection you're in. So we'll start our game like normal. And now we're gonna do our load state, select and the left shoulder at the same time once I unpause this. And just like that, we're back to exactly where we had done that previous save. So that's one way of doing it by using the buttons here. The other way is by going into RetroArch. So in order to go into RetroArch, we're going to do select and X to open that up. So I'm gonna unpause this game. I'm actually gonna advance just a little further so we're not doing the exact same positioning on this game for these save states and load states. So I'm gonna stay right in this little bush here between the two tubes and I'm gonna go into RetroArch. So I'm gonna do select and X we're gonna go down to save state here. And we're just gonna confirm that by hitting the um, A or X button, depending on which controller you're using. And you can see we have the exact same slot message in the corner there. So we've saved that. So now we can go out and we'll do this again. We'll go right back into the same game. We'll do a load state the exact same way. We're gonna go into RetroArch. So we'll go into RetroArch here, select an X again, same time. And we'll go down to load state now. And you can see we're right back in that bush between the two tubes like we did previously with our save. So that's gonna be the two ways that you can save and load games on RetroPie. I think both are super easy and straightforward. Um, which you choose to do is pretty much based on personal preference or uh, which is easier based on your controller configuration. Not everybody configures their controllers the exact same way. Um, I actually have an 8-BitDo controller that I configure a little bit differently than your standard controller, just because 8-BitDo does have some of those extra buttons along the uh, sides of your controllers. So with that specific controller, sometimes my buttons are a little bit different. So uh, RetroArch is a little bit easier for me on that specific controller. So again, it's all based on personal preference, but Hopefully this makes this a little bit easier for everybody. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to save and load games. So this should cover that in great detail. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials based around RetroPie and Raspberry Pi. And we also have a great deal of gameplay demos from our game collection cards. Please check us out online as well at our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.